Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa, Weekend Treats Edition. Today, I'm going to show you how to make pomegranate and caramel brownie squares from the Clean Desserts Cookbook. You can find this in my Amazon store. Link is down below. It's Lunch with Lisa. I bought this book a little while back. Since then, I've tried a few recipes and we're gonna try another one out today using pomegranate seeds since it's fall right now and pomegranates are in the stores. I'm gonna show you how to easily get those seeds out of your pomegranate. And we'll explore a quick and easy treat that you can make without even baking it. This recipe takes about 15 minutes to prep and 60 minutes just inactive wait time for it to freeze in the freezer. I'll make 10 small squares so you can double or triple the recipe if you want more. For this recipe, you're gonna need one cup walnuts, cocoa powder, medjool dates, coconut oil, salt, pomegranate, almond butter, vanilla extract, semi-sweet chocolate chips, a nine by five loaf pan lined with parchment paper, a food processor, and a small saucepan if you wanna melt your chocolate on the stove or you can just do it in the microwave. The first thing you're going to do is prepare your loaf pan. Pull out a sheet of parchment paper and I like to just mold it to the back of my pan and then I can fold it and then cut on the corners. And it'll slide right inside your loaf pan and you're done. Set that aside. Hey, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the brownie layer that goes on the bottom. Pull out your food processor. Into it, you're going to add your walnuts, your cacao powder, four medjool dates, make sure they've been pitted, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Process this until the walnuts and the dates are broken down into small pieces and everything is well combined. But be sure not to overprocess. You don't want it to be a gummy mess. Then we're gonna transfer this mixture into the prepared loaf pan and spread it evenly on the bottom of the pan. Make it tight and compact. Now we're gonna just place this in the freezer so it firms up while we make the rest of it. Next, we're gonna prepare the pomegranate topping. So we're gonna to seed our pomegranate. We're just gonna score the outside with a knife. Don't cut all the way through, just score it. And use your hands to just pry the pomegranate in half. So over a medium-sized bowl, place one of the halves face down in the palm of your hand and grab a spoon and start tapping on the outside of the pomegranate until all the seeds have fallen out into the bowl. Now we're gonna set that aside. Next, we're gonna do the caramel layer. So you wanna add two cups of pitted dates to your food processor, along with a fourth a cup of coconut oil, two tablespoons of almond butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're gonna process this until all the dates are broken down into tiny pieces and everything's well combined. Make sure you don't over process this too. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna take a quarter a cup of the semi-sweet mini chocolate chips and add a half a teaspoon of coconut oil to that. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, give it a stir, and if I need to, microwave it for 30 more seconds. We're gonna set that aside. Okay, now we're gonna put everything together. Take the loaf pan from your freezer and add the caramel mixture into the loaf pan and spread it evenly on top of the brownie layer. Next, you're going to sprinkle the pomegranate seeds evenly across the caramel layer and gently pat it down so it's slightly embedded into the layer. You want them to stick. Now using a spoon, drizzle the melted chocolate evenly over the top of the pomegranate seeds. Now we're gonna place the loaf pan in the freezer for 60 minutes or until the squares are firm and the chocolate is hardened. Then we're gonna remove the loaf pan from the freezer and cut it into 10 small squares. You can store this in an airtight container in the freezer or refrigerator until ready to serve because the squares will get soft if left out at room temperature. All right, check out these pomegranate caramel brownie squares. This looks so dang delicious. Brownie bottom, caramel center, pomegranates and chocolate on top. <laughs> Can't go wrong with this. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is just sweetened by dates. There's no added sugar. You can taste the squirt of the pomegranate. So don't leave these in the freezer for too long because that pomegranate will freeze. So I would leave them in the fridge after you initially freeze them for an hour. Oh my goodness, they're so good. You get like this fruity pomegranate flavor and the burst of juice in your mouth. You taste the chocolate and then you taste that caramelly taste from the center. And then that brownie bottom is so rich, it's delicious because you get that cocoa powder in there. Oh, it's like a sweet kind of sour, but sour in the good chocolate way kind of goodness. Oh, definitely try these out. Let me know if you do, leave a comment down below. This would be so great to put out on a tray for the holiday party. 
Mm. Remember to keep them cold right up until service, so you don't want them to melt on you. Every dessert I've made out of this book has been phenomenal, so definitely recommend buying this. You can find the link down below. And if you like what you see and you want to help support me, there's three ways you can do it. Just follow the link down below to my Amazon store, and you can buy anything on Amazon just using that link within the next 24 hours, and I may receive a small commission. Or you could buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa. Or you could become a patron, like all these lovely people. Patreon.com slash lunch with Lisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa. All right, I'm taking these to you, mom. You're gonna get these before this video even comes out. <laughs> these are pretty much guilt-free. Nothing bad in these. So good. <laughs>